Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Animate in Blender Part 1. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a simple wave animation in Blender. This is not just going to be a wave animation, but also you're going to learn how to make an idle breathing animation in Blender. So this tutorial is a beginner's tutorial and it's for people who don't have the money to pay for animation school. Yeah, it's it would be nice to go and to learn animation from professionals, but for the meantime, you will um to like get the basics of it because actually paying a thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars at this point when you're just starting your career it's not easy so we are going to start off with um posing the character i started this video beforehand so you can see i already posed it then i was like oh let me just um record it so i'm going to delete the keyframe uh also when i um try to insert keyframes if i press my eye it's automatically Instead, uh, the location, rotation, and scale. But if you're new to, like, you open a new blend file and you press the I on your keyboard, it's going to bring out a list of options. So to change that to automatically insert location, rotation, and scale, you go to the pose, then you go to the animation. Then uh, you see change key sets. Then you click on that. I select the rotation, location, and scale. So we are going to go into posing the character. But um, the first thing is first, the character is in the highest resolution. So I'm going to reduce its cost making my system slow i'm going to go to my modifiers tab and reduce it to zero then uh the clothes was um i printed the clothes to the character using a surface deform modifier i didn't want to go into the stress of rigging it so i just used the uh, a very quick method of doing that then so i'm going to when the um, resolution was reduced, it's not going to work. So I had to bind, re unbind, then bind it again. Same thing with the um, eyebrows and the eyelashes. So once that is done, I can now change it back to pose position and start to um, pose the character. So one way to uh, easily get into pose mode is by pressing control tab on your keyboard. It's more like faster than going to object than going down to rows. So it's like a shortcut. So um, right now I'm going to pose her in an attention position, but I'm not going to make her look too serious because this is more like an idle resting position. So I'm now giving her the I do breathing position. So this um so I'm going to move the move to the 80th frame and also in um insert the same keyframe. Then I'm going to go to 40 the 40th frame and I'm going to um give her a breath in pose so when you breathe in your your uh, chest tilts backward a bit giving room for your lungs to expand so i'm going to tilt the chest back a bit slightly i'm not going to overdo it because i'm not giving her a heavy breathing pattern so it depends on how heavy you want your character to breathe. Like for example, someone who ran a hundred meters 
is not going to have the same breathing pattern with someone who was just standing. So um, after that, I'm also going to tilt the shoulder bone a bit. Uh, this is more like to give space for your lungs to expand and also your diaphragm. So the next thing I'm going to pose is the hand. I'm going to move it up slightly because the hand is directly connected to the shoulder. So if the shoulder tilts up a bit, the hand is going to move. So yeah, I keyframe that and you can look at it coming to life. So yeah. So this is more like very much it, although this is not every symbol, this is most of the work. So right now the character feels alive, so you can see that. So, um, the next thing we are going to do is to slightly tilt the head up because when you uh you breathe in your head slightly tilts up just a little bit don't um overdo it because it's not is now going to look more like she's nodding so if you look at it it's very subtle but it gives it more life so yeah um, that's it for the idle animation. Um, to make it loop twice, we are going to um, duplicate the keyframes and then we are going to um, extend the uh, we're going to extend the range. So um, the next part is going to be for, um, the weaving tutorial, so stay tuned.